What's going on everyone? Verdict back at again with another video. And today, it's a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna be showing you my personal favorite type of loot room designs and how I like to store them. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. There's triangle shelf, square shelf, no shelf, shelf rack, there's a lot. But space is main key, not looks. So what I'm here today to show you is how I like to design my loot rooms with these two options here. Both are just as great as each other except more spaces with the other. So other than that, let's just get right into it and go with the first loot room. The first loot room is what you've seen in a lot of my videos. It's just, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's the go, it's just the best. It's, it holds the most amount of space. It looks the greatest as well, which is always a plus. And I don't know, it's, it's just how I like to do my loot rooms. And I don't know, maybe a lot of people do, I don't know. The section option here, we have a, more common option. I have, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen this in a lot of other videos where there's three large boxes on the bottom and the top, but not the small boxes. I just added that in because it's possible, but yeah, you'd be surprised on what holds more. So yeah, let's try it. Go in the comments. Tell me which, which one you think holds more. Bet you can't guess it. Uh, so yeah, so the first one holds a total of 240 stacks. So meaning each tile, all the tiles added up because you can count the barbecues and they're basically small boxes. But yeah, 240, that's like a, a lot. <laughs> uh, whereas this one only holds 216. So yeah, the large box on each top extra sounds pretty tempting. And I was surprised, I thought this was gonna completely shit on the other one, but yeah, 216. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you quickly how to build each room and yeah, hopefully you guys use this as well. Hold more loot in each um, tile for your base, so let's get into it. All right, so just before we get into the build, this is everything you're gonna need for it. And let's get into it. So first we're just gonna start off by placing a large box in this corner with a campfire just, just next to it. Place a small box now, because it will not be easy when the large box is there. Just like that, and we'll do the same for the top. Said it once, I'll say it again. You want to place the garage doors first before you do the liner boxes on the bottom because then you will have to pick them all up and place them all again after the garage door. So we'll do that quickly. Just like that. And the top one on either side. Bang! Get yourself a decent loot room. Let's go to the next one. All right. Just before we get into this one, either these are the things you're gonna need for it. And let's get into it. So first, you're gonna to want to start by going into either one of the corners. Doesn't really matter which side you do it on, but yep. So we'll just go into the corner and fit it in nice and snug. Place one just up against this wall. And one in this corner. We'll get our small box, place this flush against the wall. And one vertical against this wall. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing for the top. And bang, just like that. Again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please have a thumbs up. We're so close to 100. I said it last video, but I'll say it again. Come on, give me it. But if you guys want some more building tips, let me know down in the comments, guys. <laughs> all right. Other than that, that's all I've had to say. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.